is up guys? Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to share with you guys some of my favorite items that I got in December. Now, some of these items are from Christmas and others are from subscription boxes, but I'm also going to share with you guys two of my favorite books that I read in December. They literally just blew my mind away and if you haven't read them you need to but this is my first ever monthly favorites if you guys like this video and you do want to see more monthly favorites just let me know in the comments down below but without further ado let's get into it first I'm gonna start with my absolute favorite item hands down now I actually did not get this item till like two days ago but I'm counting it as a Christmas present to myself from me and it is of course my authentic Gryffindor robe and it is personalized it says Tabitha I've wanted to get an official Gryffindor robe for so long but unfortunately they're only on sale that I know of in London at the studio tour and unfortunately they do not deliver to the USA but Leandra one of my friends from YouTube and Instagram actually messaged me saying that she was going in December and she asked me if there was anything I really wanted and offered to mail it to me. So she was able to get this while she was there at the studio tour, which is the sweetest thing in the world because she took the time to get this and get it personalized with my name. Now these are rather expensive. I did pay for it and send her the money and everything. It was around $100 and then like 30 for shipping. So probably the most expensive item that I will show you guys, but I will have this for the rest of my life. And Leandro, thank you so, so much. I cannot say it enough for thinking about me and offering to do this for me because you know how much I wish I could go to London and that was just the sweetest thing ever. But for those who don't know, Leandra is a fellow um, YouTuber. I will link her channel in the description. Go check her out and support her. She is the sweetest person and I adore her and her channel. I mean, this has made me the most happiest I have been in a very long time, <laughs> which is probably sad, but it really has made me so happy. But that is the first item I got for Christmas. Second, I got this beautiful necklace that says Tabitha. My sister Amber, we draw names for Christmas and she drew me this year and she had this custom made in Harry Potter font. I don't know. Um, but she got this for me and I absolutely adore it. You will probably end up seeing this in a lot of videos. I apologize in advance. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite items. She also got me my very own Tri Wizard Tournament trophy, but it is also a lamp. Like it lights up and everything. You can't really tell because of all of my lights. But yes, the detail on here, like, oh, I absolutely adore this. Perfect for my collection. I think she got this at Target. I might be completely wrong. Amber normally comments on my video. So Amber, let me know. This was from Target, right? It is plastic, I think but it looks and kind of feels like the real thing. So I absolutely love this. Amber, you did really good this year. <laughs> and next, I have another Christmas present from my husband, meaning from me, because I picked it out and bought it myself. But good job, hubs. You know exactly what I want. It's uncanny, it really is. But it is the golden egg. Sorry, the lights are glaring. But I mean, look at this. But it is not only a replica of the golden egg, it is a necklace holder. So you can open it and hang all of your necklaces so they won't get tangled and then just close it back up, twist this and bam. Harry Potter Golden Egg. I got this from Pottery Barn and it was more expensive. Um, it was my big Christmas item. This and this were my big Christmas item this year. I don't remember the exact price, but if I find it, I will put it somewhere so you guys can see it. But I knew when I saw this, I had to have it. It was definitely a treat to myself um, from my husband. You know, you know. 
Next, I'm going to show you a few of my favorite items from subscription boxes. Now, I'm sure you have seen these before in my unboxing video, so I'm not going to go into like great detail about each item. But first, I knew I had to pick my favorite enamel pin from December, and this was actually really, really hard, but I had to go with... That is right. This is the pen that we got from the Wizarding Trunk, and it is, oh, oh my god, I'm blanking on her name again, Smith. How, oh, I know her name. I had to look it up. Uh, H. Smith, something Smith. I guess she will forever escape my memory. The Wizarding Trunk, in my opinion, I think is the best when it comes to Harry Potter enamel pens. Like, their pens are always amazing so yeah this was definitely my favorite pin of December but that being said I do have something else to show you which I could not leave out for the month of December and I actually didn't even unbox this on my channel but I did get the Litger Crate enamel pin advent calendar and it was based off Fantastic Beasts and where to find them and I mean it's just gorgeous all of these enamel pins and the banner that it came on I mean so freaking cute so there were 12 pins and all and I would try to show you favorites but I honestly adore them all Thestrals, the Thunderbird, we have the Demigoss, a Bow Truckle, I mean Niffler, the Akami I mean they're just they're all just so freaking amazing my enamel pin addiction kind of couldn't let me not have it, um, so I'm glad that I was able to grab one. So yeah, definitely a favorite for December. A another favorite from December, you would have seen this on my Harry Potter advent calendar battle, and it was the bracelet from Cauldron Crate with all of these Harry Potter charms. I'm not going to show you all of them because there are quite a few, but I absolutely adore this bracelet and the charms that they chose. Definitely one of my favorite parts about that advent calendar, and it's probably my favorite piece of Harry Potter jewelry in my collection. Definitely not a piece of jewelry you want to wear while you're trying to be quiet because, I mean, this thing can make some noise, <laughs> and I actually really like it. <laughs> so yeah, definitely another piece I loved. I also have the chess piece. This was from Cherry's Winter Box. And honestly, the longer I've had this, the more I adore it so freaking much. I definitely am going to have to find a place on my bookshelf where this is front and center. The next two items are actually from Lidra Crate Magical Edition Box 7.1. And it is the notebook, The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. I just cannot get over how gorgeous the cover of this notebook is definitely one of my favorite Harry Potter notebooks and I have so so many which has actually made me a little picky about getting notebooks myself but I definitely would have bought this if it had just been on sale by itself just just gorgeous and last from that box is of course Hermione's bag I just had to include this in my favorites video because it really is so gorgeous and you can tell this was really good quality. It's definitely an item I've always wanted for my Harry Potter collection. So I'm so glad that I was able to finally get one. Okay, so that was all of my favorite Harry Potter items from December. Now I'm gonna share with you guys two books that I just absolutely adored in December. And the first one is The Never Tilting World. Now I got this in one of my book box subscriptions and I honestly do not remember Remember which one I want to say it was Fay Crate but don't quote me on that because I honestly do not remember but this book was absolutely amazing I literally could not put it down and it's a fairly big book and I read through it pretty fast but it is about two twin goddesses and their journey I guess to kind of save the world or fix the world which was broken into two halves almost one like a desert and one just like frozen surrounded by water and it is so good the characters are just amazing the story 
story, the plot line, I mean, it is forever moving. Like there was not really a stagnant part throughout this entire book. I really think this book kind of has it all. It has great characters. It has an interesting love story for both goddesses. And it has adventure and magic and mystery. Like the mystery of this book definitely kept me going. The big mystery is kind of like how the world broke in the first place and what can they do to fix it. And that's kind of the journey they take to try and fix the world. And I mean, it is just amazing. I would definitely give it five out of five stars. And I really think there's gonna be a second book. I honestly haven't looked it up yet, but I really hope there is a second book because the way this book ended just leaves you wanting more. Like I want to know what happens next. It is definitely a book that I recommend. If you have not read it, you definitely need to give it a chance. And my other favorite book from December is Star Sight. Now this was the sequel to to Skyward and if you haven't read that definitely read it first because you will not know what is going on now if you've not read Skyward it's kind of set in like a futuristic time where humans have journeyed across the galaxies and we're kind of stranded on this planet and we're like regularly being attacked by this alien force and it's kind of about the main character's journey into becoming a pilot or fighter to fight these alien forces such a great book but now star sight picks up kind of where we left off in skyward but it took a complete turn to where in my mind I thought this book was going to take us but in this book we meet a lot of new characters and sometimes it's hard for sequels I think to introduce new characters and kind of not have a lot of the old previous characters from the first book but this book successfully did that and made me want to like be invested in these new characters and the journey that this book took the action the mystery like so good I definitely give this another five out of five stars I don't really have a rating system because I don't really review books that often but these two were definitely five out of five for me there were not any real slow moments there were not any just kind of moments that I just had to force myself to keep reading I literally just wanted to lay in bed and read this book all night long it is definitely a series if you have not read it you definitely need to read it but guys, that was it. That was my favorites for December. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite item and if you have read either of these books. And again, if you want to see me do more monthly favorite videos, just let me know. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. <laughs> but oh my god. How long has that been in my hair? I have my mom Cup Trophy. Trophy? Is that trophy? I never had trophies growing up, so I'm assuming it's a trophy. Is <laughs> The blah, 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 blah. The expansion charm. But this book was. Oops. I got to the. Stop texting me!